Good morning, everybody. It is time to get you caught up in the world of motorsports, both locally and nationally. It is the Monday morning race review. And folks, the folks over in Vinton, Iowa at IMCA have released their national champions. And Iowans did very well in competition here, racing-wise, in the United States. Let's take a look at some of the IMCA national champions that I'm sure you've seen and have heard of. First of all, how about this, folks? Uh, we're talking about the Carl Chevrolet Northern Sport mod national champion Matthew Luft from uh, Sway City, Iowa. Congratulations. He takes home the crown. Second place, by the way, 15 points down to Cody Thompson of Sioux City. So great job in the sport mod division. Now, when it comes to hobby stocks, there is one guy. You've met him here on the program several different times, including this year when he won another super national. Shannon Anderson wins the national championship once again. I believe that's crown number eight for Shannon Anderson. So great job out of him. Uh, so again, he beats his closest competitor by eight points. So uh, good job out of Shannon Anderson. In the stock car division, another Iowan wins the national championship. Uh, Mike Nichols from Harlan, you can see there the 500th feature win that he had later on or earlier on this year. And then later on, he continued on with a couple of more victories. Great job out of him. Dim and Murdy also finishing very well uh, in the top three in national points as well. So great job out of Damon Murdy. In the late model division, uh, how about Jeremiah Hurst? from Dubuque. He takes home the national championship in IMCA. Great job out of him. And also, uh, since we're giving uh, nods to late model people from Iowa, how about one point behind the national champion, Todd Cooney from Pleasant Hill. Uh, amazing. Uh, the national champion had 803 points. Cooney had 802. We talked about him all the time winning uh, like in Marshalltown and places like that. So great job out of Todd Cooney. And speaking of of a Cooney. How about another Cooney that is going to be celebrating as well as he jumped into a late model and took home the Rookie of the Year honors in the late model division in IMCA talking about uh, Sean Cooney. So congratulations all the way around. Now speaking of late models, a big, big race was happening late model wise over in uh, Eldora at the Eldora Speedway in Ohio. It was a rescheduled we World 100. We take a look here and show you what's going on here. That is uh, Devin Gilman. He's a points leader at Eldoris. Yeah, obviously, he's going to be out front because he knows that track really well. That was until Tim McCready uh, decided, you know what? Uh, I think I'm going to take uh, home the championship here. Is uh, He just gets it dialed in and starts picking his way through the field and does so, marches on through to the front of the pack, and then when it was done, uh, T-Mac brings it around in the number 39, brings it home. The World 100 Honors goes to Tim McCready. You talk about people that are excited when they win things. We've seen them win here uh, at Knoxville in the past, and the guy is just a, a lot of fun to be around, and you can't tell that he's going to enjoy himself. How about this? The car comes to a halt. They take his neck down, and he starts drumming away, <laughs> celebrating his World 100 victory. There are some of the other names that you're familiar with. Bloomquist was in this one. He ended up finishing fourth in this race. He won one of the heat races as well. Billy Moyer finished 20th uh, in this race, and this, again, was the rescheduled event. Remember, they're supposed to run at the beginning of September, but it looked like, uh, you know, weather uh, stopped that from happening there. So good job out of everybody there. Now, the playoffs do continue in the world of NASCAR, and this time they took it to Talladega Super Speedway. It was the Freight Auctions 250. This is a cutoff race in the truck series, which means a couple of guys are not going to be moving on in the playoffs, so we had to keep an eye on our guy, Brett Moffitt. He gets collected up here, and somebody else's problem bashes in the right front of his truck. He ends up coming in for a stop, and that, whatever it is, you can see it again, as he brings it right down in front of him, right up in front of those two trucks there. He nurses it back around to the pit area, and he's got to finish well in this race. He plans on moving on to the national championship, uh, the final four, so to speak, in Miami later on this year. He gets things repaired, but the big one always unfolds at Talladega, and here we go, final stage, and this collects about 10 different trucks in here. Moffitt, this is a slow down for you a little bit to see the carnage here. Now, Michael you'll watch the 75 come across the right as he here. zips he across the screen here, right there, the black truck, the brakes, as he goes underneath and he yeah. cannot slow down. Looks like the accelerator possibly stuck. Oh. Boom, hits the inside wall. That was the hard hit. Everybody was okay, side though. Came down to the last corner, last lap, down the back chute. That is Noah Gragson leading. Timothy Peters behind him. He gets into the right rear bumper and turns the leader on the back stretch the final time down the back stretch. 
stretch. The yellow flag comes out. They lock the field. They bring them back around. Yellow flag and checkered flag flies. And the guy doesn't have a full time ride. You've seen him here a couple of different times. Timothy Peters wins at Talladega on Saturday. David Gilliland, yes, that David Gilliland, uh, end up finishing third in this event. Uh, Stuart Friesen and Noah Gregson, you see there, uh, finishing there. Brett Moffitt end up finishing in 17th. But the important thing was, where did these guys end up when it comes to points at the end? Well, those are the folks that end up making the playoff cutoff. The Talladega race was a cutoff race. Johnny Sauter, he's in. Brett Moffitt, Noah Gregson, Grant Enfinger, uh, Justin Haley, and Matt Crafton all move on as they uh, take off and they go on to their next event as they proceed toward the national championship. Now, the Cup Series also had a chance to race over at Talladega, the 1000bulbs.com 500. And, folks, we had to keep an eye on what's happening at Talladega. We always know there's a big one sometime, but this was all a Tony Stewart and Stewart Haas dominated event until the big one happened. But the big one happened on the final lap behind the leaders. So they're crashing behind the leaders. They let them run to the checkered flag, and that is Kurt Busch. He led the good chunk of this race. He ran out of gas coming out of the final corners, and Eric Amarola uh, in the uh, Bacon for Life car ends up winning the event. So congratulations to Eric again in a Tony Stewart car wins. Clint Boyer in another Tony Stewart car finishes in second place. Ricky Stenhouse finished in third. Good run out of Diddy Hamlin and Joey Logano fifth. Now Kyle Larson had a hard time all weekend long. He managed a 10th place finish and after running out of gas, Kurt Busch got 14th. 108 laps is what he led. Uh, Joey Gase and Landon Castle from Iowa. Those guys finished 18th and 22nd respectively and then some of the other playoff contenders there. Now we mentioned uh, Bacon for Life and this is uh, something that's kind of cool. You see Bacon for Life on the uh, the hood of Eric's car. Now the deal is you have to the end of the year to get signed up for this and you're going to get uh, a certificate for bacon every week for five years if you win the grand prize and then you're going to get a check at the end so you can buy bacon for 45 years after that. That's the grand prize in this bacon for life campaign. They also have bacon for a year. Five first place prizes for those. So go to that uh, Smithfield website to get all the details on that. Now I'll take a look at the, uh, the playoff grid to see how things are going uh, in the world of cup playoff series. Two people are locked in right now. It is Chase Elliott and Eric Amarella. They will find out where the others one other ones uh, shake out after Kansas which is coming up this weekend a lot of people heading down to Kansas Speedway to find out who the next six will be in that final eight now NHRA also had a chance to run over the weekend Carolina Nationals and that was over at Concord North Carolina and here are your winners uh, for those you take a look at Torrance and Smith and Caps and uh, Jason all win at the 2018 NHRA Carolina Nationals so there you have it folks there is your Monday morning race review got you caught up in the world of motorsports it is seven